ignore that furry little fart box back there. No, he's not with us yet. He's with me now, but I'm kind of talking to you guys from the future a little bit. I forgot to completely, uh, well, I got a text from Dad. He goes, hey, did you remember to wish Brian's mom a birthday, a happy birthday? And I'm like, oops. Well, luckily I know the editor of these videos, and uh, I can add stuff like this. So, Ramona, I want to wish you a happy 71st birthday, and I hope Brian's taking care of you and making sure everything is kosher, because isn't that how it works? You know, we spoil them when they're younger, and then as the parents get older, we're supposed to uh, do whatever we can for them, and I hope Brian's doing that for you. But yeah, I want to wish you a happy 71st birthday, and uh, he may be sleeping, but he wishes you a happy birthday as well. All right. Now we can jump into today's video. Yes, we are still rocking the broken glasses, the super glued glasses. You see how that super glue is all over right there? That is not pleasant to look through. Also, we are not rocking that beautiful German back there. He is still at home taking his week off to where he will be going through the chiropractor and he has on those new pills, those new chewables that we started him on to get him in good shape. We're about 10 miles north of the Missouri border here in Iowa off of Interstate 29. We are going to go back up to Sioux City, Iowa, where we're going to grab a load, and guess what? Here's a shocker for you. Somewhere, I can't even do it. We're going back down to Topeka, Kansas. I hope the trip goes a little bit smoother than it did in our last video, but the fog has already started to set in, and it isn't even dark yet, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have a white evening to where all I can record is a, is a bunch of fog. And then when we get down there, I think it's supposed to be raining again. Once we get up to Sioux City with this empty trailer, and we're going to drop it off, we're going to pick up a loaded one, I'll let you know what's in the trailer. You guys caught my last video I was telling you that uh, Troy's birthday is at the end of this week and I've been hunting around I want to get him his very own 350 legend and I've been hunting around for it 
and I, I really don't think that his very first 350 legend needs to cost 800 to a thousand or more and I could never I just couldn't find anything around and time's running out <clears throat> now I was talking to uber dad earlier and he goes have you tried fleet farm this is my second time in fleet farm I've never even been to the gun section in fleet farm so we're gonna go give them a little look see dad says they got a couple here that uh, that might work out for them a couple savages fleet farm fancy Do you have your ID on yet? Yes, I do. That was probably one of the most positive experiences I've had buying a gun. Spencer there, when he first started walking up, he had that Justin Beamer hairstyle. I was thinking, oh no, you know, what are you going to think of, you know, because I'm not at a gun store, I'm not at a, at a Shields or a Bass Pro. Holy smokes, that kid was knowledgeable. He knew, the boy's been around him a long time. He's from Utah. All right, so got the salvage. Didn't spend no eight, nine hundred dollars like, like uh, this is his first one. I put a Bushnell scope on it. I think he'll be happy. I think, well, he better be happy. Yeah. Let's uh, we gotta fix the headlight and then uh, drop this trailer off. Pick up our next trailer. Start heading south. One thing I am converting over to, you know they got those cable locks for guns, for you guys that have guns. I'm switching over to the, the packs, the trigger locks. Grabbed a pack of three. We'll try these out and if they work out, we'll buy some more. Just for some added security, I guess you could call it. I don't want to fix that headlight. It's that same one that I rewired a few videos back. Another wire must have broke somewhere. We're not going to do it in the parking lot. We're going to go to the yard and uh, do it there. I'd rather get sloshed around in mud and snow and a lot of people. You know what? We're going to do it here. We're going to do it in the parking lot here. It's a lot uh, cleaner. That heat shrink in that we put on there a few videos back. I must not have got it melted on there good enough because some stuff got in there. What I need to do, and I need to see if my box has some in it, um, I need to see if I actually have, uh, well it's shrink wrap, but it's, it's a long one and it covers all of the wires. I'm going to see if I have one. I could have sworn I had... What are these? Right here. One of these. We'll cover it up with that once we repair it again. And then that should take care of our problem. go 
I think that's gonna hold pretty good. I need to get a smaller torch. My small torch, uh, it, it doesn't work as good. It's, it's out, and it seems like it runs out a lot. <clears throat> I did talk to Warden, um, Opie, who we are missing desperately. Uh, went through his chiropractor appointment okay. Jax went through his chiropractor appointment okay. Both of them were out of whack, so it was needed. <coughs> Chocolate milk. I do apologize. That's very rude of me to do that on camera. I haven't done it in a while. Let's pick one out. Uh, that one's not good. That one's not good. Oh, well, I think I've read that one. I want that one. Go with that one. Huh. My friends keep telling me I am addicted to brake fluid. I am not addicted. I can stop whenever I want. That one wasn't that good either. But I don't want to go through it and pick any more out. We got 265 miles to get down here to Topeka. And as always, if you're new to the channel, dropping the loaded one down there, picking an empty one up, and bringing it right back up here to Sioux City. We are loaded with uh, um, uh, something different. Liver and chicken. It's a blend. You guys can eat it if you want, but I, I'm going to pass on it. Uh, liver and chicken. Pretty light, though. 28,000 pounds. Can't beat that. Okay, I am sure there is going to be a very large gap in between Sloan right here and where I picked the camera up again. My daughter is on a little bit of a rant, a good rant, but I kind of like it when she calls me with these. And sometimes they last an hour, sometimes they can last two hours. So I see where I pick you guys back up. It's kind of tight here. we hit the uh, Missouri River here and start making our way towards Kansas the fog just gets more extreme so maybe we'll have a pretty smooth night tonight
What do you think? You think OP will let me leave the uh, bedroom back there the way it is now? The original way with the couch up? I've spent many a night sleeping on that couch because Opie didn't ride with me the whole time. I don't think he's going to let me leave it like that though. He needs his room to sprawl out. We're in Holton, Kansas right now. Just, uh, just kind of went through one of my uh, things where I got to stop and clean the truck up a little bit and then we can get back on our way. It wasn't less than 12 miles, maybe 15 miles after I'd rattled off to you guys that the fog isn't here. Maybe we'd have a smooth sail. It's actually worse tonight. Doesn't seem too bad here. So the further south we're getting, I think it might actually turn to rain again like it was last night. But so far, it's just fog and a lot of it. It's all right. We're doing good. It's a little soupy. Like we have some good ruts going here.
That's probably one of the most annoying sounds I've ever heard. It's a faulty alarm right up there. I am going to try my hardest when I edit this video to not speed things up. Sometimes I will make my clips short and to the point. You guys know what I'm doing. There's no need for me to completely back into a spot or completely pull forward or completely sit and wait at a gate. I won't, uh, I won't leave the setting and waiting in gates. If you watched my last video, we had some frustrations down here. I think I might have to delete some of that video because I, I think the I think the gentleman checking me in and out, I, I, I think there's something wrong there. I, I'm not sure what it is. Either which way, uh, it took us an hour again down here. Uh, last night was two hours, tonight's an hour. And it's just a drop and hook that should be a 15 minute process. fog's getting real relentless it's like it just doesn't want to give up we did get a little bit of driving today without any fog though that was pretty cool you know you got to give a toss up i mean either you're gonna have it, it, it is winter it's winter either you're gonna have it be really cold or you're gonna have fog because this year is 100 percent reminding me i think it was 2009 2010 that winter in there because I remember I was hauling feed still and uh, man I gotta tell you every single day it was <clears throat> it was this kind of fog I remember backing into feed yards and uh, having to get out of the truck because I had big spotlights on the back of that trailer because it was a belt trailer and I'd have to get out of the truck just to go back there just to find the back of the trailer before I could back into a uh, uh, pit where we dump thing dump the uh, wet distiller that I used to haul and that that was a pretty brutal winter and this winter is reminding me a lot of it you know when we get snow it's a lot of snow but uh, when we get to warmer temperatures it's a lot of fog and that's just what it is it's just uh, it's just is relentless the right word I'm looking for I don't know if it is or not it could possibly be let's think there has to be a better word for it right Throw it down there in the comments if there is. I'm going to leave you guys right here. We're going to call this video done. You guys stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.